Hello everyone, so today we are looking at the Android smartphone by Juning company. This is a 5 inch smartphone. It's an unlocked phone, so it's not under any contract. You can directly insert your SIM card and start using it. It comes in pink, black and gold color. So this is the uh, phone itself. So in the box we have the charging cable, a wall plug, charger and the earphones. It's a $60 smartphone, so it's a budget smartphone with good features. Uh, I would say it's a value for money phone. So let's go over the phone itself. So it has a display of around uh, it's a 1080 or around 940 pixel display, which is high definition. And uh, you can see it uh, on the back side. It has 5 megapixel camera, which takes decent photo. It's not I mean it doesn't take excellent photos, but for this price range and the uh, unlock phone, I am I'm okay with the camera quality and it also has a front facing camera which you can use for take some selfies and do facetime and uh, so it's it, it comes with a uh, launcher which uh, gives a feeling of like samsung launcher let me go to that samsung launcher so you can see it's google now so this was the default launcher let me switch to that so you can see so this one is the launcher it comes with out of the box and this is the notifi notification menu uh, you can adjust the brightness and it also has a profile so it used to I used to I'm used to the profiles in the older phones where it's really convenient to quickly switch to general profile silent profile or low volume profile very convenient to use so these are standard Android settings a quick menu and uh, I prefer Google launcher because it gives you like feel of stock Android so I already installed it and from google play store so uh, you can switch to google now launcher and set it as uh, always so it's your default launcher so yeah uh, let's look at some of the photos i have taken from this phone uh, so this is the quick pick gallery i have installed so these are the photos i took in uh, taj casino in atlantic city really nice color contrast okay and you can shoot videos from this device uh, let's play some youtube videos it's pretty fast i would say the phone i mean it's not super quick but at the same time uh, it's a 60 dollar device uh, with the 500 megabyte ram and it's a quad core processor so that's really nice it comes with the internal memory of uh, 2GB which is quite sufficient to install some of the apps but you will need to insert a memory card and memory card you can expand up to 32GB so you can see uh, it plays the video really well quite fast responsive so this is the back button so I'm switching between apps it takes just one few seconds but that's really manageable uh, so you can see the Facebook loads up in 2-3 seconds. Uh, touch screen is also very responsive. So yeah, great phone overall. For 60 bucks, I would say it's an excellent phone. Just don't get your hopes too high with the uh, camera quality. You can take decent photos with it, I would say. Uh, but not excellent photos. Apart from that, it has all the good features. Uh, sound quality is also decent. You can connect. Bluetooth headphones or earphones using 3.5 mm jack. We have good battery life around 2800 mAh and for 900 pixel screen resolution this gives you really great battery life. Again thank you for watching.